Hey guys, Yonder here, and it's time to change weight classes and go up a weight class. You know what that means? Do you know what that means? There's a new champion to chase. I'm obviously gonna take the bigger fight with Drew Rivas and fight him for the more one, the more fans, and two. Hey, I'm trying to get that belt, so I have to fight the best people to get that belt. That means I'm no longer a champion, which is, it feels weird. I mean, I had the belt for a while, but now it's time for me to go get another one. We'll figure it out. We'll definitely figure it out. Dominic Cruz. I am the number one contender for the Bantamweight belt. Dominic Cruz. Is who I'm going after. They made Yasahiro Miura a replacement? Yeah. I think the only person like that would be worthy of being my replacement would be Mighty Mouse. Everyone else just kind of went down easily. Incredibly easy. I'd love to go up one more weight class and get up there with the likes of Jose Aldo and Conor McGregor. And Prince Romero, but I don't think I don't think that's gonna happen. I don't think the the game lets you go up another weight class after going up a weight class. Um, but I'm gonna just enjoy being in this weight class. I don't really see anyone I know. John Dodson, I'd love to fight. Um, and Dominic Cruz, that's about it. He's got one loss. I've got no losses. That's a super fight. But with that being said, let's go ahead and get to this training camp so we can get this win and maybe get a title fight next time around I am going to work on my let's see leg power short session I have no problem with at this point in my career because I don't want any injuries I'm gonna go with choke defense because I don't want to get choked out by any of these bigger guys I feel like these bigger guys are gonna try and take me down I haven't had an injury in a long time and that worries me. That makes me a little concerned that I'm going to get that injury as soon as I go for the Bantamweight Championship. I'm second to last on this, uh, on this card for UFC 237. Hopefully that takes the pressure off and I can get one of the best fights here. I am going to wear the black. Get used to wearing the black because I plan on wearing the black again really soon when I get that belt. I don't know how to not be a champion right now. I've been a champion for like what the last five fights, maybe four fights, something like that. Let's see, fought Mighty Mouse, fought one other guy, fought Mighty Mouse, and I fought two other guys. That's five fights. This is the number one contender fight, so I if I beat the number two guy. I fully expect to be fighting for the Bantamweight Championship after this. He doesn't have copyrighted music, so I can actually look at the scouting report on him. This guy can keep a pace inside the octagon that is literally a shocking thing to behold. His opponent is in deep trouble if he comes into this fight out of shape. So he's fast, but he's, is he as fast as I am? I don't think he's as fast as I am. He's got some pretty cool music, but the tattoos look a little fake and generic. Alright. And Dana White's looking at this man, trying to see if he's going to be the one that beats me. When you hear that mech anime theme, you already know. What time it is. This guy has some of the best defense I've ever seen inside the octagon, and they say that defense is the best offense. Um, that's all you have to say? <laughs> I thought he was gonna have a lot more to say. You know, 
I mean, I do have some of the best offense in the UFC. I've knocked everyone out that I fought so far, except for that one guy back in the Ultimate Fighter that I made tap out. But I mean, I guess I come into a new weight class expecting to be one of the smaller guys. I'm bigger than this guy already, and I'm fighting. There's something weird about that. Sixteen and three is not a bad record, though. I mean, I could easily be sixteen and three. So I'm going for my 20th win right here. That's going to be big. If I get this 20th win, I just put me in the title shot. Give me a title shot. And there's Mario Samasaki. Yamasaki. I said Samasaki. Yamasaki, my favorite ref. My personal ref. All right. Oh, he's countering. He messed up. He's not protecting himself. He is not protecting himself. He's not protecting himself. At all, really. Alright, now that I've rocked him, take my time in this fight. Actually, I don't have to take my time as much in this fight. I hate living next to this busy street. I don't have to take my time as much in this fight because I've been fighting five round fights. I've been pacing myself. Oh, that's a first in a while. I've been pacing myself for those five round fights. Oh, that's it. That's it. That's it. This is it. Nope. Nope. Look at that. Another fight ended in that position. Tremendous TKO. Great stoppage by the referee. <laughs> I saw his stamina low and I caught him. I caught him slipping when I saw his stamina low. My ground and pound is a lot better than I expected it to be. Getting through here. Vicious ground and pound combination that leads to the TKO. And here we see it from a different angle. With the official decision, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki is called to stop to this contest. That's a good win. That's a really good win. Declaring the winner by TKO Helly. Kid Dynamite. Victorious by TKO. He wasn't protecting himself very well at all. So I just kind of took advantage of that and decided to take him out. I mean, he was leaving himself open. He was countering well, but he... There's a huge difference between fighting real people and fighting the computer. Like, I've been, pl I've been playing this game against, like, real people a lot more. And real people block everything. The computer leaves bigger holes than real people do. So I've just been attacking those weak points. And hopefully that strategy will get me the bantamweight belt because I do deserve it after that win. I just ran through that man easy. Well, guys, that's the end of this episode. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of UFC 2.